Hi, my friends and audience from YouTube, and welcome to Strelox C++ tutorials once again. And uh, let's see how much time do we have today? Well, we have some time, so let's do something cool, or let's not. Let's learn something useful and then do something cool. So I'm thinking about starting some kind of separate, like extra uh, tutorials that will f actually focus, take, uh, break apart some applications, games maybe, and then do do something like that, but as an extra to the regular tutorials because it can get boring to listen to tutorial after tutorial, listening about pointers, then functions, then pointers to functions, classes, multiple inheritances. Poly polymorphism, everything like that. I know, it gets boring. It gets boring to me too, but... Well, today we'll focus on another interesting part of um, programming, and it's really relevant to console game applications, so if you're thinking of uh, making any type of console game applications, uh, you should really listen in. So I have the template we only need windows.h includes and I stream and uh, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna make a function uh, that uh, uh, that we'll call go to xy. It's from the Borland function um, short y it's uh, the, Bo Bo the Borland compilers had a function go to XY that went to any place in the screen of the uh, of the console window, and that's what we're gonna emulate pretty much. That's what we're gonna make. So I've declared a void uh, function go to XY with sh short X and short Y, and I'm gonna do a bit of um, handle. Handle a bit of Win API. So again, if you learned Win API, this will be just a review for you. But I uh, get std handle. Uh, for the rest of you, you can just copy this and or look it up and use it in your programs. You don't have to memorize it or anything. So x y. Sorry. Uh, I declared the ha a new handle and then the coordinate position, chord position, x, y. And now uh, the main statement is set console cursor position to uh, of handle to position. So this is pretty much our whole function. And now we can use it with the statement go to xy. So let's just demonstrate a little bit. And go to xy, the console window is actually broken up into like little blocks. And by using go to xy, what you're basically saying is go to this block horizontally, this block vertically. So let's go 15, 15. And let's see out hello world. Remember this program? Of course you do. You can't forget it. So s again, C and get and return zero, which is not necessary with um, some compilers. And let's try to compile this. It should work. It's taking an awful lot of time compiling. So what it did is it uh, counted 15. Uh, from each the vertical position and the horizontal position and uh, it displayed to that part of the screen hello world because our mouse is at this part of this was at this part of the screen so we wrote hello world so now well, let's figure out how to orient ourselves in there and let's put a 0 15 where will this bring us it yep it will bring us on the vertical so the first coordinate in the go to x y is the hor the horizontal so like the x axis and then the y axis is vertical and always remember that it the plane is inverted so if you say negative 15 uh, y then it's gonna 
go out of the console window well it should or throw an error uh, or you could just specify here unsigned so that you don't make an error and uh, so it should throw an error if you say unsigned if you say negative 15 here let's see what it will do you see it gives you a warning about passing negative value for converting to the unsigned integer so if you if you want to check that you don't make that error just put it unsigned and we'll throw you a warning about negatives so little so go to XY is hello world and then we can again go to XY uh, 25 5 and like see out life is fun so uh, why why is this useful though um, so you see we have hello world here life is fun here we can print something out here we can do whatever and for random games if you want to do a clicking game or, or a game that like pop something pops up from different positions the go to XY is, is a must uh, why is this useful though if you're making a Tetris game say or something like that and you you put system CLS after each drop of the piece that would take so much memory and it will your screen would be flashing like crazy so go to XY allows you to go to a point and then rewrite the information at that point and um, as an example well I don't know if I if I have this um, I had somewhere here, yes, main L5. Uh, this was an example of a program uh, written by Draft Joker, and uh, his original program uh, had actually a lot of flashing with the system CLS. But I changed a couple of thing here, things here with uh, this the go to XY, and now look, see, no flashing at all and once you pass the levels or whatever well like there's sometimes a little bit but not as much as there was I can I can show you how it was before uh, if you change this uh, go to XY if we change all of these back to system CLS system CLS I'll just just want to show you the difference well so this was what most beginners do system CLS and now look I compile the exact same thing look do you see how the screen is flashing every time and how like annoying it is because it is flashing so much especially if you were to do like something like this it's flashing like crazy so to to avoid that try uh, using go to XY thank you and I hope you learned something from this lesson see you in the next